If you like old rusty tractors, you are going to love this video. We were driving by this old row of tractors and I couldn't get out of my car fast enough. Check out in detail these things. All kinds of makes and models. Oliver, Fordson, Kubota, International. I mean, look at this old International. Some people say rust, I say history. Towards the end, I'm sure you saw that one that was completely made out of car parts. Here's an old Kubota. They were even orange back then. I wonder if this one would start. If these things could talk, you wonder what stories they'd tell. I think I could check these things out all day long. Pure innovation in here. Wow, would you look at this, an old Oliver. Still got the chains on the tires. Would you take a look at that scoop? Bet it wouldn't be much to get this thing running again. Maybe I should start looking around for some keys. That'd be cool to see this one rumble up again. I'm not sure which one this is. This kind of looks like a Ford. It really looks like a Ford. Well, anyway, that's my guess. Nice three-point hitch on that one. Now, here's an old Fordson. Got the hand crank on it like the Model T. Beautiful thing. Talk about built to last. This one still looks like it's in pretty good shape. I wonder if that fuel tank would hold fuel. Clean up those spark plugs. Give this thing a crank. I know, everybody's saying, I wanna see the John Deere. All right, all right, here it is. In the back of this thing on the axle, it says John Deere. Cast it in with pride. This has got all that green and yellow on it. You just wish they'd still build them like this. Maybe a few upgrades like fuel injection. Looking at these old machines doesn't get old. Here's that rear cast. I was talking about John Deere. They don't do things like that anymore. That'd be a vinyl decal these days. An old tractor like this looks good with some rust on it. This one's still got the plow hooked on it. Must have been a sad day when they retired this one. Maybe it's not retired. It may be just taking a nap. I don't know. I see the keys in the ignition. This one's got keys. Mine's got a screwdriver to start Added it. some nice tread on those back tires. All the metal's nice and straight on this thing. I think this one's got some nice life left in it. Now here's the tractor everyone was ooing and on about. This one's made out of car parts. There's a V8 GMC engine on there. It's farmers like this that have made the world go round. A farmer's not just a farmer. They're an engineer. They know business. And they understand that God is totally in control. You can keep those machines running, but there's a lot to produce in a crop. Amazing what you can make with just a torch. You build whatever you gotta build. Now, if I could see any of them run, I'd like to see this one go. Ingenuity. This one just says ingenuity all over it. It was just hard to stop taking a look at this one. Imagine the excitement and the anticipation when this one hit the field for the first time. Now, the last tractor in a lineup is this old Fordson. This old Fordson's even got the old spark plugs laying around. Exhaust has got old gas line on it. No battery necessary, just crank it up. I bet most people have never seen a spark plug this old. Innovation at its best. Wow, would you look at that distributor cap. I'd say that this old tractor is very graceful looking. There's no rubber tires on this one. Completely made of metal. Those wheel wells are beautiful. It's so much fun walking through a tractor boneyard. As a kid, I used to love going through the old boneyards looking at cars. This is how you learn how things were made. It gives you ideas on how to engineer things. It shows you what worked, what didn't work, and you can pull up old technology that actually did work. Just because it's old technology doesn't mean it doesn't work. Well, I hope you enjoyed checking out some of these old tractors as much as I did. It's neat looking at these old machines. Well, I appreciate your time. And thanks for watching.